Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Raw. Uh, this show is brought to you by THQ, and I'll tell you what, folks, that last match was very short, but very volatile. I mean, you saw The Rock attack both Dude Love and Austin, and Austin won the match. However, the, the Rock and Austin have some unfinished business, which they have had in the past in the World Wrestling Federation. But you know what? When Dude Love got back up, though, he was no less happy about it either. I mean, he was no less happy getting beaten by Austin, as well as getting beat up by The Rock. So... Uh, we'll have to monitor this situation before it gets really out of hand. But here's a matchup that has already gone out of hand, especially if you know your, you know your history in the World Wrestling Federation, and that is Bret Hart against Shawn Michaels. Enough said. But we'll find out which man is indeed the better man, and hopefully we will not get another screw job like we did in Montreal. And we'll find out right now. All right, match underway as we have a float over neckbreaker on the Bret Hart to begin the matchup. Now, of course, these two haven't been feuding uh, officially, but they feuded in the past. They're rivals, so they definitely know each other in and out of the ring. And then a leg stretch onto Shawn Michaels by Bret Hart, and now Bret Hart fighting back. I mean, Shawn Michaels got off to a quick start, but. You know as well as anybody that Bret Hart can counter with the best of them. And I'll tell you one thing, if Shawn Michaels isn't careful, I mean, then of course he's definitely going to be wrapped up like a pretzel at the hands of Bret Hart. But also, as far as Bret Hart is concerned, I mean, he's having problems with the British Bulldog as it stands, but he's got to focus on Shawn Michaels. Oh, nice comeback by Michaels. And then whipped into the corner. And then a clothesline on to Bret Hart. Snapmare. And then an arm breaker onto Bret Hart. So Bret Hart, I mean, he he was laying the smackdown, no pun intended, on Shawn Michaels, but Shawn Michaels is slow, slowly but surely coming back on this one. Another arm breaker onto uh, the Hitman. I'll tell you what, my folks, uh, I'm not one to hire Hitman, but if I had to hire one, it would definitely be Bret Hart. But if I wanted a heartbreaker, though, I would pick Shawn Michaels every time. I mean, no offense to Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but he's no heartbreaker the way that Shawn Michaels is. Let's just, let's, let's just get that straight. I mean, then again, he is HPK, the heartbreak kid. Oh, but now fighting back is Bret Hart. Another arm breaker onto Bret Hart, I'm telling you. Now Shawn Michaels is going for the arm of uh, Bret Hart. And that's a good idea. Yep, now going for the shoulder as well. If he keeps targeting the arms, he, definitely you'll do one of two things. Or, or actually you'll do two things. Number one... You'll definitely make any submission attempt from Bret Hart onto Michaels, or whoever his opponent is. If you take out his arms, you definitely take out any possible uh, pain that he otherwise would have dished out. In other words, the hold will not be nearly as effective as it would be if you were 100% than if your arm was injured. And number two... You'll definitely be put in a compromising position to where you could submit if you were in an arm bar or something like that. Another kick and another punch right to the arm of Bret Hart. And now Bret Hart has got to be hurting in the arms as well as the neck just now. An elbow drop onto the heart of Bret Hart.
And now trying to go for another arm bar. Right now, Shawn Michaels is doing the smart thing, although, okay, what, what is he doing? Uh oh, now he's taking down the table. Although it was uh, Bret Hart that did that back in Montreal in 1997 in the World Wrestling Federation. And what rammed into the table was Hart. But then thrown back in the ring was Hart. Elbow right to the head of Hart. As the referee is going to count, this is a normal match, by the way. And now Bret Hart going to try to go back after him. Nope, countered into an atomic drop. And then a clothesline on to uh, Michaels, although Michaels just got back up rather quickly. And, well, both men went for a clothesline but missed. And now both men make, make, the, uh, make the count back inside the ring. Thrown over the top rope is Bret Hart. Okay, now both men are back in. And then a bulldog on to uh, Shawn Michaels, but not the British Bulldog. One, no nope, kick out by Michaels at one. So far, Michaels has been very effective going for the arms of uh, Bret Hart. A snapmare takedown on to Hart. Excuse me, I had something in my mouth. Ugh. I got it out. Oh, and now another sit-down. A sit-out shoulder breaker. That's what it's called. Excuse me. But still, working on the arms of Hart. And then another neck breaker on the Hart. Oh, and then a kick right to the face. Oh, but then a punch right to the gut of uh, Shawn Michaels. And another arm breaker. I'll tell you one thing. I guess Shawn Michaels wants to be more than just a heartbreaker. He wants to be an arm breaker. And another um, bulldog onto uh, Shawn Michaels. I mean, I have a feeling that the British Bulldog could be watching this match right now as we speak. But then again, so could uh, a number of other people that want to go in after Shawn Michaels. A neckbreaker onto uh, Hart. And now, a backbreaker onto Hart. Now, slowly but surely. Oh, no, wait. I'm not sure what. I think Michaels was going to go for the sweet shit music, but he might have went too soon. Inverted atomic drop and then a clothesline on to Hart. I mean, anything can happen in this match. Well, now Hart is just beating the snot out of... Wait, what's happening here? Wait a minute. Something's going on here. Either, either he can hear voices... Oh, and Michaels from behind takes advantage of the... Uh, of the distraction. An arm ringer flip. And a leg drop onto the left arm. And now. It's Bret Hart that went for an arm breaker. Oh but. A rope break. Saves Michaels. Not that he needed it. But. It's there. And now going right back to the arm of. Bret Hart. And now whipped into the corner. And now a, a knife edge chop. And now let's see what Michaels is going to do. Nope. Countered by uh, Hart. Oh! My goodness! That sweet chin music from out of nowhere. One, two, no. Kick out. Or actually, no. The rope break saved him. Bret Hart was close to the ropes. Just enough to break the count from the referee's uh, three count. And then a tilt a whirl backbreaker on to Shawn Michaels. And uh oh, Michaels is pissed. 
flying forearm, inverted atomic drop, and a scoop, and a slam right to Bret Hart. But is that enough? One, two, no kick out by Bret Hart. I'll tell you one thing, Bret Hart, I have a feeling, you know what, as much as I remember it, Bret Hart, as far as I know, is one of those guys that has been in this position before, he's been through the wars, he's been through the battles, so he knows what it takes to win, but he also knows what it takes to survive. A kick and a punch right to the left arm of Shawn Michaels. And now whipped into the corner. And now shoulder first was Shawn Michaels. Wait, I saw somebody come in. I saw somebody in the background, but I didn't get a good look at who it was. And now, what is that? Oh, um, a, a, an abdominal stretch, but too close to the ropes was Shawn Michaels, so the match continues. Okay. And once again, another kick and another punch right to the left arm of uh, of Bret Hart. And now the, the the match is starting to take its toll on him. Okay, so there was no one on stage. I thought there was someone. And Bret Hart is now a one-armed man. A crucifix pin. Is that enough? Nope, not even a one count as the referee was out of position. A knife edge chop. And now Sean, or excuse me, Bret Hart is in trouble. And now going for another armbar. I'll tell you one thing, Shawn Michaels is uh, very, very smart. Yeah, he's gotten some beatings himself throughout this match, but one, two, no kick out by Bret Hart. And it looks like Shawn Michaels is also hurting from the arms as well. And whipped into the corner, and then a drop kick, and then a knee right to the sternum of Shawn Michaels. And went for another drop kick, but he missed. And now uh, Bret Hart went goes into the cut into the corner, but then countered as well. And then a drop kick onto Shawn Michaels. A kick and a, and a punch once again to Bret Hart's arm. I'll tell you one thing, folks. This match has been more than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be just as much of a classic as the one in Montreal was. And a hurricane run up from off the top rope onto Bret Hart. And now wait, a roll up. One, two. Nope. No, wait a minute, countered. One, two. Th he got it! And Bret Hart won thanks to that counter, but Bret Hart just barely wins the match. And Bret Hart has won, although someone tried to distract him, but I don't know who. Nonetheless, though. Bret Hart has won against Shawn Michaels. It was a hard-fought victory for my or, or not Michael, excuse me, for uh, Bret Hart against Michaels. But Bret Hart manages to find a way to win. And I'll tell you what, folks. Uh, Shawn Michaels, you know, he did the right thing. He went after an, a, a body part, such as the arms. And yet, 
Bret Hart finds a way to win. But folks, so far that is the match of the night. Let's see if the main event, which is up next, can top that. Stay tuned. It's coming up right after this.